birthday donuts. Aww. Here, put the lid down. Show them how pretty. Y'all, if you like Krispy Kreme donuts, it is 4th of July time and they are going all out. But we're doing it for a birthday. Whose birthday is it? <laughs> Yay! I am using the pot this morning. Look there. Dun, 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 dun. And yes, it does make wonderful grits. Look at those. They are so creamy. And you have such good temperature control with this. So the grits don't pop out on you. They don't get so hot they start popping out on you. That hurts. If you've ever made grits, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but um, anyway, look, yum. It is, we have a birthday here this morning. So, of course, any birthday we have, they always want Poppy's cheese grits. And like I said, I'm loving this pot. Summer night. In the south. Kids are playing in the pool. The sound of the fountain. And feels burning limbs. Isn't that pretty though? Look at that. <laughs> oh, it's rather high. <laughs> I didn't mean to make the big, a big giant storm come and blow our entire canopy away. <laughs> I hope you didn't talk to so I'm going to hope you all the time. I was joking. I said I was just going to bring it to the top of the hill. You don't need to put a forest fire out. You got to turn it back on. Look what I made. Yum, yum. My blueberry cobbler recipe. And that's the coffee maker going in the back. <laughs> um, so if you want this recipe, I will uh, tell you which vlog it is in. It's already on my channel. And um, so you can make it. But it's, it's really delicious, y'all. <laughs> Here is a quick little recipe. All it is is garden vegetables that have been cut up. They've been sliced. Um, this is zucchini, eggplant, and squash that's on this tray. And um, you just put all, you put your slices of vegetables down. And then I put salt and pepper and I put garlic powder, because I didn't have garlic salt, so I did garlic powder, salt and pepper, and then I sprinkled olive oil all over it, and, and then I sprinkled Parmesan cheese all over it, and I am baking it on 400 degrees. And I did spray the bottom of the pan with a cooking spray, so nothing would stick on it um so anyway let's give it a try and see how it is here they are um after the cheese melted i put them under the broiler for well i just put them under the broiler until they got pretty and brown on top see that yum took them out and they are ready to eat it took maybe 15 minutes to do all of this it's a rainy day here. It's thundering outside. So I have come in and I'm going to eat my lunch and I'm going to watch my favorite YouTuber. Y'all want to know who that is? And excuse the way I look. <laughs>
Let me show you. It's Stephanie and the Chateau Diaries. I love this vlog. Y'all have to check it out. And I'm eating my favorite lunch. It's French bread with sausage and cheese and onions. Oh, it's so yummy. So that's what I'm doing this afternoon. <laughs> so we have been kind of neglecting our pool because we've had a little trouble with it, but we've got it all fixed. And so now we're trying to get it back into swim mode. And one of my husband's friends brought over his, this, I call it a robot, <laughs> but um, it's a little bit different than the um, automatic pool cleaners that I've seen in the past. Um, this thing is awesome and it doesn't actually hook into your filter system. It does, does it all by itself. Um, and look at it. it. It climbs the walls. I mean, it climbs all the way up. Is this not the coolest thing? I have never seen one like this. It is amazing. Anyway, it scrubs your pool's walls. And um, you just empty out the filter that is in it when it gets done. And the guy loves his. He just bought a new one. So, uh, I think... Hopefully, he's going to let us buy this one from him. But um, I'm loving it so far. You can see up here, across the pool where it went, where it cleaned that little spot right there. It says it has a pattern it goes in. But see how clean it is where it did its thing? So anyway, we are trying this out and we are getting excited. We get to start swimming again. Yay. It's called a dolphin. Um, I've never heard of it, but yeah, a dolphin. Y'all, this coronavirus is really getting bad in Alabama again. I mean, gosh, we're tired of it. I know everybody is. I know the world is. Um, but it seems like we're taking a step backwards instead of forwards. Um, <clears throat> this week, we know two people that have come down with it that are very close to us. Um, my oldest son, his father-in-law has got it. And my youngest daughter, her father-in-law has got it. So, and um, anyway... We are just praying for them and um, and just hoping that all this will be okay. It's just been a mess, I'm telling you. So, anyway, to say the least, we are trying to be really careful again. Which I guess if we wouldn't have stopped being careful, maybe none of this would have happened. I don't know. But um, that's just a lesson for you. Don't <clears throat> think... It's okay to go totally back to normal yet because uh, it kind of backfired on us. So, got to be careful, guys. Got to be careful out there. Um, and uh, like I said, we need to pray for these two men. And um, I know uh, Kayla's father-in-law, bless his heart, he's had a rough time. Um, Adam's father-in-law doesn't seem to have it too bad. So, that's good, but um, we are just, um, pray, pray, pray. So, we love you, Mark, if you're watching. <laughs> I know Tina watches sometimes, so we love you, and we want you to get better, get better, get better. And uh, you too, Willie. Y'all, y'all hang in there. Love y'all. A guy that works with my husband, he is trying his hand at making cheesecake so he said the first one he did totally bombed and this one is okay but he said he's still not there so anyway it smells really good I'll say that and now I'm going to give it a taste test like it said it smells wonderful Mm. 
Well, I think it tastes good. It's um, it's not real firm. It's really, really kind of melty creamy, but I actually like that. <laughs> so, mm, I think he's on the right track. Mm, it's really good. It really is. Are y'all ready for this? Dun, da, da, da. We have a sunflower. Yay. Isn't it pretty? Bees have already found it. <laughs> My garden is loving all this rain. My zinnias are blooming. Look how pretty. Aren't they gorgeous? I love the colors of zinnias. My crepe myrtles are starting to bloom a little bit. Pretty soon they will just be heavy with pink blooms. Look at my garden. Oh, and um, my limelight bush has bloomed out. There's another zinnia. This one's pretty. It's a soft yellow. Get my limelight. Is it that beautiful? These bushes, guys, they like full sun. And I mean, for the south, that's amazing because it gets so hot, but they absolutely love it. So I want to get more and plant all along the vegetable bed. But yeah, everything looks so pretty. So the rain, you know, nothing does better than God's rain on a garden. I don't care how much you water it. When God waters it, it just goes nuts. Well, I am finally ready to redo one of my pieces of furniture that I got from my friend's house. So I thought I would tackle this one first. Um, the other two I have set up in here already. Um, <clears throat> so yes, they need work, but for right now, they're fine. <laughs> and this one, I actually want to put it in my den over by the fireplace. So I thought I would tackle it first. Um, right now, I'm just going to clean it and see how much grime I get off of it. It was actually sitting outside under a carport cover. So it's probably quite dusty. Look what I have discovered. Look at this, the paint is just, you can just peel it right off the furniture. Is that not crazy? Somebody must have painted latex on top of oil or something because paint does not normally do that unless it is latex on oil. I mean, this is great. I don't have to sand it. I just peel it. Just peel the paint right off. <laughs> I mean, crazy. It's like, um, <laughs> it's like when you have a sunburn <laughs> and your skin starts to peel. That's what it feels like. It feels like you're peeling off sunburn skin. So anyway, wow. That's nuts. This is really 
quite satisfying. Look at it. Oh, oh look at all that. <laughs> Quite satisfying. I love peeling this stuff. So you just start up the sheet like that. Look. Just start pulling it. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> wow. That was a good one. Yeah. Huh. And then it's got that old 1970s finish to it. The greenish, yellowish finish that everybody did back then with a little stain over the top. 